What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This week we are in beautiful Chicago, Illinois for the 2023 Chicago Marathon. We flew from Austin to Chicago yesterday. We met up with one of my old hometown friends, Drew and his girlfriend for lunch at a ramen restaurant here in downtown Chicago. Then Bree and I explored downtown. We just walked around, went to Magnificent Mile, stopped by the Nike store. We went to the Wonder Museum. Wonder Museum was sick. I did a little four mile shakeout run with Luke, one of the guys I'm coaching that's running this weekend. And then for dinner, we went to Travoli's Tavern, got some amazing food, lots of carbs. So many carbs going in today and yesterday and tomorrow. This morning, we have our three mile shakeout run that I'm hosting with Eric Floberg and Luke Zarato here in downtown Chicago. We're expecting like 100, maybe 200 people to show up. It's gonna be a huge group to go and run three miles prepping for the race tomorrow, but it's gonna be an epic weekend. So let's get into it. All right, we just met up with one of my longtime best friends from our hometown in Wyoming, Drew, and his girlfriend. They're here visiting Chicago also. We got some ramen with them. It was delicious, and that restaurant was sick in there. Um, but now we're just gonna walk around downtown Chicago, explore a little bit. We have the river behind us. It's beautiful. Chicago is a dope city. All right, we're checking out the Magnificent Mile. It's like this big kind of shopping district. Chicago is such a neat city. There's a lot going on in here. It's cool. If I zoom in, it does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It looks like Avatar or something. That's so cool. All right, hitting a four mile run this afternoon. We got our boy Luke. Oh, we're going. I've been coaching Luke for like the last month, getting him ready for Chicago. His initial goal was to go step three, but we're gonna be running a lot faster than that, which is awesome. So we're out here cruising through downtown. It was 2.45 on Sunday We'll see, we'll see. We're hoping for 2.45. But uh, beautiful evening in Chicago. Just shaking the legs out. We've got a shakeout run tomorrow morning. So, so that's for that. That's lights in the game too. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's wow. sick. Oh yeah. There we go, baby. We got a little rain shower. We love it. What more could you ask for? We got a double full rainbow here across Lake Michigan. I think that's good luck for sure. Look at this. I are walking to go find some dinner. We found a couple restaurants that might be good candidates, but we did not make reservations. So we're hoping we can get in, but we're just looking for some good, healthy food, maybe something with meat. A little bit of carbs, but uh, yeah, we're gonna explore, see what we can find here in downtown Chicago. Thank you guys for all coming out. I know there's like a thousand shakeout runs this morning, so we're just so honored to have all you guys come together for this one. Um, everybody that's racing tomorrow, good luck. Trust all the training and hard work you guys put in. It's supposed to be a very flat, fast course from what I hear. And the, uh, the weather's gonna be absolutely money tomorrow, so it's gonna be a great day for everybody, I hope. Um, but I mean, this is really what it's all about. I know we all have our own goals for this weekend. But, I mean, getting together with like-minded people, we all have the same core values of making ourselves better, making everybody yeah. around us better, and uh, doing hard things, and just challenging ourselves. So, 
this is what it's all about. Um, thank you guys so much again for coming out. And uh, I'll let Eric kind of go over the uh, logistics of the run. But good luck tomorrow, everybody. And let's have some fun. I just want to say kudos to all you guys for coming out because I don't know, I spent like five years marathon running and like never talked to anybody. And it wasn't beneficial to my training and my racing once I realized like seeing that there are people that like doing this and want the same things, it's super, super helpful. So like don't, I'm, I'm introverted. I'm horrified standing up here right now. I could try to like turn the extrovert on, but yeah, it feels awkward still. And I'm sure plenty of you feel that way as well. So like don't, don't be shy talking to people. Don't be shy making friends because they can literally turn into lifelong friends and helping you like actually accomplish your goals. So like if you, if you feel nervous coming up to someone and us three or anybody here, just go for it. Um, so <laughs> yeah. Here we go, Chicago shakeout run. Got a boy, Eric. What's up? Got a huge group of people this morning. Three miles right along the lake near Grant Park. We're feeling good for tomorrow. Get the community together, get everybody together. It's so sick to see. Look at this crowd we got behind us. A couple hundred people out for the shakeout run. Nothing better than this, getting the running community together, making each other better. We'd love to see it. Chicago, marathon tomorrow? Let's go, baby. 100%. Yeah. yeah. How you feeling tomorrow? Oh, no. Oh, no. At your own shakeout, dude. Come on. What are you doing out here? Thank you guys again. about meeting people, getting the running community together. So good luck to everybody tomorrow. Go carve up and go crush it. We just wrapped up our three mile shakeout run. We had a huge turnout, maybe like 100, 200 people showed up for it. Nothing better than getting the running community together, especially in a beautiful city like Chicago, before we all go crush the marathon tomorrow. But now we're gonna head over to the expo. Uh, we're gonna get our bibs and uh, probably meet some more people, try and connect with as many of you guys as I can. Uh, and then we'll go get some carbs, then we'll rest the rest of the day, and then we'll go crush the marathon tomorrow but epic weekend so far thanks to chris for being out here filming us for the uh, shakeout run he's gonna be at the race all day tomorrow too getting some footage so this weekend's been epic so far so stoked for the race tomorrow all right we are heading to the expo now go get our packet <laughs> that's the update for now we're going to the going to the expo oh i did see that that is cool
have our bib, we got our bag, our t-shirts, all of our little goodies. This expo is freaking crazy. So many people, so many cool little pop-ups. It's pretty nuts. It's definitely the biggest running expo I've been to. It's cool to see. We got our stuff. We'll get some carbs. We'll chill for the day. And then uh, we're gonna race tomorrow. Alright. We've got our final meal before the Chicago Marathon tomorrow. Bree and I did have reservations to an Italian restaurant, but after the shakeout run this morning and the expo and Uber rides and walking around, we decided it might be better to just chill in the hotel, not go out, not have to be on our feet, wandering around even more, wasting energy. So we thought it'd be easier to just door dash some food here. So we got noodles and company. I got buttered noodles. First off, actually, we got Rice Krispie Treats for dessert. Those are gonna be delicious. I got a side of chicken noodle soup because that just sounded really good. It's cold here. Soup has been sounding really good since we've been here. Then I got buttered noodles for my main dish with some Parmesan crusted chicken on top. This is about 115 grams of carbs, if I had to guess. Uh, a lot of carbs in this bad boy. All right, the rest of the food in there is breeze. We've got our noodles, our soup, and our rice crispy treat. That's a lot of carbs, if I've ever seen carbs. So, we're gonna eat this. Probably go to bed early, it's about 5.30. Probably be asleep by like eight or nine is the goal. And then uh, we'll be up early tomorrow morning. Before I go to bed, I will show you my fueling strategy for the marathon tomorrow. All right, this is the fuel for tomorrow's run. Everybody always asks me how I'm fueling, so let me show you. I'm gonna wake up around 5 a.m. and I will drink one bottle with uh, one scoop of switchback electrolytes. That'll be about 1,000 milligrams of sodium. I will also eat this scratch Rice Krispie treat. Then I will Uber over to the start line area uh, around 5.30. And then I'll basically be hanging out there from 5.30 until like 7 a.m. Everybody says get there early, so I'm gonna get there early. Uh, and then while I'm waiting, when I get there about 5.30, I will have with me two water bottles. One will be for a Morton Drink Mix 320 for carbs, two before black currant powder, and another two to three scoops of switchback electrolytes. And then the other water bottle will go inside my handheld bottle, which in here is already a Morton Drink Mix 320 and a scoop of Switchback Electrolytes. There's a lot going on here. Um, so I will drink this during the race. I'll have this other concoction before the race while I'm waiting in the start line area. If I feel like I could eat some more food, I'll probably take these energy chews as well for some extra carbs. Right before the race starts at about 725, it starts at 7.30. I will have a Morton Gel 160. And as you can see, all my gels have a salt tab taped to them. So that way, every time I pull out a gel, I can eat a salt tab, take a gel, salt plus gel at the same time. I'll alternate between the spring energy gels and the Mortons every four miles. So four, eight, 12, 16, and 20. That's the fuel. It's a lot of stuff practice all this during training, but we're ready to go. We're gonna go to bed here soon. It's about 6.30. I'm very tired. I'm ready to go to sleep because we're getting up early. So, we'll see you in the morning at the marathon. What you need to know about this race, there are 47,000 participants. 1.7 million people are expected to line the marathon route. Take two.
2023 Chicago Marathon is in the books. We had 244.11, 619 pace, crushed our goal of sub 255. The atmosphere out here is incredible. The crowds were great the whole day. I felt really good through like 18 to 20, and then it was just a supper fest at the end. Just trying to hold on for dear life, but we did it, crushed it. I saw so many of you guys out there said hi, uh, gave me a nice boost throughout the race, but how can you beat this? 47,000 runners out here today. You can't beat it, so marathon in the books. Let's go, baby. Chicago, 2023. All right, I'm walking to a little team dinner that we're gonna have at Lou Minotti's, uh, apparently a very famous pizza place here in Chicago. Get some deep dish to celebrate. We're meeting up with all the athletes that I coached today for the marathon. Everybody hit a PR today. It was an amazing day out there, so. It is Monday morning. Earlier this morning, Bree and I had an epic experience at the ancient bathhouse. It was so cool. Now we are gonna head over to the Starbucks Reserve Roastery. It's like this massive Starbucks brewery roastery thing here in downtown Chicago. We'll check that out. We'll show you guys that. And then the Museum of Science and Industry. But we're just gonna tour around today, explore Chicago a little bit more. And uh, yeah, so bring you guys along with for the ride. Alright, we are officially heading out from Chicago. Our Uber driver is on the way, but an epic weekend overall. We got to tour around Chicago, got to crush the Chicago Marathon, had a shakeout run, got to meet hundreds of you guys. Epic weekend overall here in Chicago. It's cold out here. We're ready to go back to Texas, where it's not quite as cold. But thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.